right, so this might be a little bit of a different video than I usually put up because I know I'm, I'm usually pretty cheery and pretty positive, but I do need I need to open up about something, be transparent with you guys because that's not, something I always like pride myself on with you guys and my channel is I'm very open and I don't want this to be any different. So this is kind of a, a difficult thing to talk about and yeah, I'm a little bit stressed. I'm a little bit terrified, but I want to fill you in on what's going on. So basically everything in my life is about to change more than I've ever experienced change in my life before. You probably are wondering where the hell am I? What is behind me? Uh, this is a storage unit. So if you've put two and two together, you figured it out. Yeah, I'm not gonna be living in San Diego anymore. Um, I'm not actually sure exactly where I'm gonna be living, which is a little bit terrifying and, and, and maybe a lot bit stressful. The next six months of my life are completely up in the air. And again, like I, I really don't know exactly what's gonna happen. And, th and that's a bit stressful because I usually know exactly what's gonna happen. And I'm a bit of a machine of habit. So I, I really get into my routines and work hard on them. And when things are unsure, I kind of, you know, the dust isn't settled, it's a little stressful. So yeah, gonna be moving out of San Diego, not living in here anymore, no clickbait or anything like that, really I'm gonna be moving away from uh, San Diego completely and I don't know when I'm gonna be back. So a little bit of a backstory, I've lived at the house that I've lived at since I was born. I've literally never moved. I know a lot of people have moved, you know, one and two, sometimes 20 times. Like I've had a lot of people who have messaged me and said they've moved like 40 times. Uh, a lot of people moving is, is not that big of a thing. For me, I've literally grown up my entire life in that house. Um, currently, the way that the house works is that there is an added kind of apartment on the top. It's like a loft to the top level of the house that my uncle built before I was born. And that's where I live with Sammy. Um, and it actually works really good because I'm able to pay some of the house uh, payment each month as well as be home since I work from home because my mom has uh, a certain type of seizure where she gets seizures every single day, usually like one to two, sometimes more. So it's always good to have someone home because you know, you know how seizures are, you can fall onto things, um, you know, you have a lot of movements and stuff, so it's good to have somebody there in case anything happens. My dad works six days a week, so Monday through Saturday. For like literally my whole life, that's how it's been. And so originally, when it came to whether I should move out or not, it was kind of talked about and discussed, and me and my parents have like a really good relationship. And basically, I could stay in San Diego and save money instead of you know going out on my own and paying more for rent than I am now. Plus, I can make everyone's life easier by always being home. That that way I can take care of my mom and my dad doesn't have to worry about it while he's working. Now here's the part of the situation that's actually pretty cool. My dad is, I believe he's 66. So it's been time for him to retire for quite a while and he's been talking about it and talking about it. But just recently, about six months or so ago, he was saying that the lease for the shop is coming up. So he's gonna have to sign another lease, which is gonna lock him in there for another year or two or something like that. And he wants to retire and he just wants to get out of that position. And I was like, let's make some actionable steps. Like let's, I bought a whiteboard Board. Um, I said, let's sit down every weekend, the whole family, and we'll write out where you guys could possibly go. We can kind of, you know, pinpoint the plan as to what is possible and then take the best option and then start moving forward on that. And so it was really cool because by doing this whiteboard talk every single uh, Sunday, we're basically able to map the plan out and start making moves on it. And now these moves are getting pretty serious. What's about to happen right now is we just had realtors come to the house to evaluate the house. One of the realtors uh, basically was saying that he, he believes we can get the price that they're hoping for as long as they renovate it first. So within the next three to four weeks, that renovation process is going to start happening. And during that period of time, I'm going to move my parents, me and Sammy into basically like a, like a rental home which will probably be about two to three months while they renovate it. And basically, once this starts happening, we're, we're moving all of our stuff right now into this storage locker. And then once we're out of this house and the renovations start happening, we're never going back in. Like it's not gonna finish being renovated we go live in there until someone buys it. It's gonna be renovated and then they're gonna, just gonna start having people come through, look at the house, and then hopefully purchase it pretty soon after that. So within three to four weeks, my childhood home, the house that I literally have grown up in, I've always been in, all my memories are in is being sold uh, and I'll never go back. It's a weird thing to think about. I'm very excited about it because I'm, I'm super excited about the next chapter of my life. I've been thinking about this for a long time. A couple years back, I was actually planning on moving out, but my, my dad and me had a conversation and it would be a lot easier if I stayed for a few more years until he was ready to retire. But I've been ready to move out for a long time. So it's like bittersweet. It's hard because, like I said, I grew up there. 
I love being there. I love being around my parents. It's so, it's awesome. I think a lot of people try to get away from their parents as fast as they can. And for me, being around my parents, especially during this period of their life, is extremely important to me and I love the relationship that we have. But it's very exciting to open up a new chapter of life. But therein lies the stress, right? Because like I said, I don't know what's gonna happen and I don't have a full plan yet, which is a little disconcerting. So what do we know that is gonna happen? Like I said, in three to four weeks, the renovation process is gonna happen. We're gonna live in that rental house for two to three months. During that two to three month period, uh, once I get my parents kind of settled in there, me and Sammy are going to take the van for a, a mini test run of doing van life. This is something that we've been wanting to do for a long time. And basically, I wanna just take it for like a week or two spin so that I can see like, oh, I wish I would have known to bring this and, and I wish I would have known to bring that. Oh, and like this should have changed, that should have changed before we just like full out set on doing it for multiple months. So we're gonna do a, a week or two trial run come back to the rental house, order everything that we need, you know, the roof rack, like storage cargo box and all that kind of stuff, get it all ready. And then once the rental house is done and once our house sells, my parents are looking to buy a house in Arizona. Uh, I don't know if they want me to talk about what city it is, but in Arizona somewhere. And basically, we're gonna help them move all their stuff over there. We're gonna help them get settled in. Maybe for a week or two, we'll stay there so that we can help them get in their new routines because everything in their life is gonna be changing. My dad's no longer gonna be working six days a week, so I really wanna get him into a good habit. And then we're gonna be living in the van from that point forward. We don't have a house that we plan on renting. We don't have a plan of what city we're gonna end up in or anything like that. We're just gonna get in the van and start living in it for, I'm assuming, probably around two to three months. That's why I wanna make sure that we have it kind of dialed in with that, that, that trial period. And then by the end of this two to three months, maybe slightly longer, that's when we will finally settle down into a house that we rent. And we're planning on renting the house for a year, maybe two years before finally actually purchasing our own home. Where are we going to rent it? I'm not really sure. I'm thinking somewhere in North California, not like San Francisco, Sacramento Bay Area, more like uh, maybe like Redding or Azusa or something like that because the houses are significantly cheaper, but we can still be in California. So so we can make it down to LA and San Diego in you know like a, a one day trip. And my idea is basically, you know, rent for a while, perhaps this crazy housing industry, you know, like the crazy prices and stuff will come down, it'll crash, and then that'll be a good time to actually buy some property. It's just hard for me to buy a property that's like a million dollars. That's not that fantastic right now. So fingers crossed, we're gonna try to wait out the housing market. So yeah, I have a lot of different emotions swirling inside of me. I'm so ecstatic, so happy that my parents are moving on to the next chapter of their life that they've been wanting to go into, but it just hasn't been a solid plan. And so we've been able to really push forward that plan so I am absolutely ecstatic that this finally happened and then you know the other part of me is is is, is torn over here being like this is this is different this is like a, a bigger decision that I've ever made in my life this is the biggest change in my life I've ever had I I'm always very positive I always have a smile on my face and one of the things I know deep down in my brain is that everything always works out and I've also really drilled into my head that always good things come to me. So I'm not worried that everything is gonna not work out and, and I'm gonna be screwed over or anything like that. Nothing like that. I just don't know the path that we'll be taking to get there. And that, that is a bit terrifying and is causing a little bit of stress in my brain. On top of all this, it's ironic, but almost hilarious timing that right now the channel and also a bit of my income is taking a bit of a lull. You know, there's ebbs and flows in life and this is one of those ebbs. Um, and it's ironic timing because this is right when all this stuff is happening, right when there's gonna be a lot of expenses, you know, you know, souping up the, the van and getting it ready for van life and all this extra stuff that's gonna happen. And yeah, I, I almost feel like it's, it's like, it's like life or the universe or God testing me because I always talk about being stoic. I, I pride myself on being stoic and having this mindset that everything is going to be good and silver lining and all that kind of stuff. But now it's almost like I talk the talk and it's time to walk the walk. Um, and, and that's a little terrifying, but also pretty exciting. I, I wanted to let you know about this because I want to, one, say, you know, not, not everything is, is, is rainbows, unicorns, and butterflies over here. I know I, I keep it positive and stuff, but 
I do struggle sometimes. This is one of those times that I'm struggling and I'm figuring it out. But I also want to be very transparent with you that changes happen and I'm going to be showing you guys every step of this process. So a lot of things are going to change on the channel. These are videos that I've obviously never made before because I've never done anything like this before. But I'm hoping that showing you the, the struggle and the figuring it out over here on my side will hopefully help people who are also going through something similar or going through a lot of change. Hopefully it'll help you to basically just have that silver lining, that stoicism that it's going to be okay. And it's just exciting for me to share this with you guys. Like I'm excited to, to be like, whoa, we we're sleeping in a Walmart parking lot today because we don't know what the hell's going on. And we're eating, uh, you know, dried noodles because we, we didn't have a plan for this. We got to we got to find a place to shower right now because <laughs> like I'm excited to share all the ups and downs of it. It's going to be really exciting. And I think the next year of the channel is going to be so weird, but it's going to be really, really fun. And it'll be fun to see how I'm able to film everything, you know, like the world vegan news while we're out in the middle of nowhere living in a van. So yeah. I just want to fill you guys in on, on what's going on. I hope I hope you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs> if, if you enjoyed this video, if you support me, give it a thumbs up. Whenever you guys watch videos all the way through and you give a thumbs up and you leave a comment, it helps the channel a ton. It helps the algorithm read out that people are interested and they want to watch more of this stuff. So anytime you do that kind of stuff, I'm really appreciative. Um, like I said, I'll be keeping you guys updated. There probably won't be anything to talk about for about three or four weeks. But once that move happens, where we start the renovations of the main house and we move into the rental house, things are going to start getting weird. And I'm going to show you guys every step of the way. So I appreciate you guys always being here supporting me for all these years. And I'm just excited about this next chapter of life. So thank you guys so much. I love you. Appreciate you. Can't wait to see what you say in the comments. Your feedback, your support is always appreciated. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Team Beyond Week.